and Duncan A. just now gets into position. And he's back there on the third row. Here we go. They're rubbing up their engines. And away they go. Here they go into turn number one. Boy, the 750 stock production class is so quiet, you could hold this race in a library. Some of them going off the track, but some of them probably made contact, handlebar to handlebar contact, going into turn number one. It slowed up a couple of riders, but they're all through in pretty good shape. And right now, two riders starting to split themselves away from the rest of the pack as they head around turn number two. They come out of turn number two and go up this uh, slight incline as they break hard and uh, go up the uh, hill for the first time. One lap down, seven laps to go.
Uh, riders like Chris Stewart and Mike Minnick, we don't see anywhere near the top five, and you usually see riders like that uh, up there, and they're not uh, doing it today anyway. Yeah, but I'll tell you one guy that's really doing it is Dome. I've never seen a lead this big in this type of competition before. A huge lead as he goes down into the dog leg. But boy, the race for second is just tremendous. And there's a lot of money on the line there. There's about $1,000 in just those three positions alone as they go around turn number eight. We've got $700 for second spot. 400 to make a pass. Here they come out of turn number nine. It's Dume with a big $1,300 payday staring him in the face. But look at this. We've got Lynch in third spot, and let's see if he gets around more this time down. Here he's in the draft. Here comes this kid out of Bakersfield. He's just a raw rookie kid. Moore looks over his shoulder and sees him right there. Let's see if he gets by him. He's going to uh, – look at that. He says this Lynch guy is uh, playing it really savvy, really smart. He's holding his own. He's not going to make any uh, – Big moves early on, so boy, Lynch showing a lot of savvy for a new rider. Fight number 65, William Beck went down in turn number two. He's up and okay, he's up and all right. Just spun it out over there in turn number two. Okay, this time around, we're going to try and give you the top ten as we come up with the halfway flag. And we're going to try and keep our eye on that fierce battle going on for second spot. And the story of this young rider out of Bakersfield is Tom Lynch. We're going to see uh, how he... So it's going to be DeMay, 151, with an uncatchable lead as he comes down to complete another lap. And here's this battle for second. Moore keeps looking over his shoulder. He knows the threat is there. So it's Dume in front, Moore in second, Lynch in third, Graves in fourth, Don Kane, bike number seven in fifth spot, bike number 194, Peter Carroll in sixth spot, then comes Mike Minig, 82 in seventh spot, then in eighth spot is bike number 38, Scott Cavanaugh, so he's gone down the leaderboard a little bit, then in ninth spot, a very unusual position for him, Chris Stewart, and rounding out the top ten, 155, Dave Morris, so that's your top ten as they got the halfway flat. And that is the field that's going up to you right now on the top of the hill. All ten of those riders, uh, all within about, uh, literally knocked down, drag out war. Remember, they're paying down to seventh place, so they are going for some money up there in those positions. Steve Reynosa, who went off the track in the early part of the race and gathered himself up and started uh, passing riders right and left up to the pack, I guess, has pulled it off the racetrack, and he is out of the race. Steve Reynosa out of the race. He was your er in interceptor racing uh, champion here a couple of years back. Here they come, Dume. Oh, this kid looks good. Finished third last month, and he's on his way to pick up 1300 bucks. Look at this battle for a second. It's more. The question is, can Moore hold off this young kid, this 16-year-old out of Bakersfield, Tom Lynch, and he's out of tough time. Look at this battle for fifth and sixth spot. Four riders going into turn number one. Oh, they get through in pretty good shape. Woo! That was close, and they're still side by side coming out of the turn.
and it's out, and now, as soon as they see the white flag, let's see what Lynch is going to do against Moore. They both see the white flag. They know there's only two and a half miles to go, and there goes Lynch. Lynch goes to the inside of Moore. They're side by side. It's a matter of who outbreaks who into the turn. Lynch has got him. Oh, what a move. That was a 10-year veteran move, not a hockey move, and he pulled it on him, and Moore takes it back. Moore's got second place back, so Moore says, no way, I'm not going to let this kid get around me, and take second spot back away from him. and 